Welcome. Welcome. I'm not going to be able to say this in Spanish. Lo siento. Mi, Spanish, mi, mi español es muy mal. So, what's that? Oh, bienvenido. Ah, oh, mi maestro. Martín es mi maestro de español. Muy bien. Happy to see everybody today at this retirement mass for Father Fernando Molino Restrepo, who we, in a short time we've got to know and love. And uh, this is not just his goodbye from here, but this is a retirement for him. So it's kind of a, kind of a big deal. And he's so happy that you all showed up. So happy to see Bill in the front row. Look at that. Bill's, Bill's, Deacon Bill sitting in the front row. What a wonderful thing. So anyway, we have uh, Martin Span. So what? Los divinos de Jesús. Divino, niño, Jesús. Sí. And the coro de adultos. Uh, the English in the back, the English, the English adult choir in the back, joining forces to say, "Well done, Father Fernando, Fernando Molina Restrepo." Oh, I've been reminded. I'm, I can't believe I forgot that. I can't believe I forgot. You know what I'm going to say next, don't you? I'm going to say to turn off your your cell phones. Right, turn them off. We don't want to miss a single word that's going to happen today. So great, so that there are no. Uh, strangers among us. Why don't we stand up and turn to the person next to you and just smile the biggest smile that you got. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Señor, esté con vosotros. 
Thank you for being here to celebrate this Mass with me, to pray and give thanks to the Lord for his goodness to all of us. Gracias por estar aquí para celebrar esta misa conmigo, para darle gracias a Dios por su bondad, para con todos nosotros. Knowing that the Lord is kind and merciful, let us ask for pardon for our sins. Lord Jesus, you teach us to live as a loving, caring family. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you invite us to live by faith. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you ask us to follow your word. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. vivir siempre en el amor y respeto a tu santo nombre, ya que jamás dejas de proteger a quienes estableces en el sólido fundamento de tu amor. Oh nuestro Señor Jesucristo, tu Hijo, que vive y reina contigo en la unidad del Espíritu Santo, y es Dios 
por los siglos de los siglos. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In the days of King Josiah, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms to root up and to tear down, to destroy and to demolish, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord. Yeah. 
das la vida. Señor, tu misericordia es eterna, no abandones la obra de tus manos. Te doy gracias, Lectura de la Carta del Apóstol San Pablo a los Romanos Hermanos, nuestro cuerpo, siendo uno, tiene muchos miembros y cada uno de ellos una función diferente. Pues de la misma forma, todos nosotros, aun siendo muchos, formamos un solo cuerpo unidos a Cristo y todos y cada uno somos miembros los unos de los otros pero tenemos dones diferentes, según la gracia concedida a cada uno. El que tenga el don de profecía, que lo ejerza de acuerdo con la fe. El que tenga el don de servicio, que se dedique a servir. El que enseña, que se consagre a enseñar. Y el que exhorta, que se entregue a exhortar. El que da, hágalo con sencillez. El que preside, presida con solicitud. El que atiende a los necesitados, hágalo con alegría. Palabra de Dios.
you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Welcome to all. So good to have you here this evening. In tonight's first reading, we are greeted with the story of the call of the young man, Jeremiah. He was destined from birth to be a priest as he was born into a priestly family. His days would have been spent mostly quietly at home with his family, his wife, except for his annual duty to go to Jerusalem and there to exercise his month of priestly service in the temple, praying, offering sacrifice, and so on. But God had something else in store for him because the destiny of his birth into a priestly inheritance will not be. He has been known by God even before birth, and priesthood is not in his future. Instead, it will be the life of a prophet. He will not be able to rely on the tithes of the people to provide him the necessities of life, but he will have to assume the mantle of prophecy the hard life of one who dares speak to the people in the name of God. He will look at their behavior, that of the common person, that of the king, and everyone in between, and pronounce whether it is pleasing to God or repugnant. It's no wonder that he would protest, isn't it? Even at an early age, I'm too young. Say not you are too young. Say not you are too old, for that matter. Do as I say. And by the way, I'll help you. At our baptism, we too were anointed to be priests. That royal, kingly priesthood of Jesus that is our inheritance, in which we offer to God the sacrifice of daily praise and obedience that are our lives hidden in Christ. The chrism that marked our foreheads at that time reminded us of that. Chrism, anointed. But we were also anointed to be prophets, along with our royalty and our common priesthood. Our calling from our birth at the baptismal font is to be the same as Jeremiah's, to judge this world as God would judge it. 
to call it to act as God would want it to act, to have it to be as God would want it to be. The manner of that judgment is revealed to us in the gospel. It is a judgment of mercy. The world is called to take up the sweet and gentle yoke of Christ himself. None other than the burden of love, long-suffering love, sacrificial love, which transforms one into the very image of Christ. We judge the world by our living in it, bearing the gentle yoke of Christ by how we treat each other and indeed all people. We do not render evil for evil. We lay no burdens on one another except the burden of mutual love. And we rejoice in gifts that differ in being blessed with gifts in abundance given to one and to all. We call forth those gifts and we, we respect each other's gifts, encouraging so that the body of Christ that we are will be all the more better or the much better. In fact, here is where the gift of the ordained priesthood is best recognized. It's the special gift, I believe, of the ordained priest to look humbly beyond what God has blessed him with personally and to encourage the gifts and the talents of the people he serves with to come forth, to blossom for others. He does this often in the confessional when he encourages them to look beyond their faults and instead to see their talents, to go past what is wrong, to be able to do what is right. He does this when he preaches and he invites the power of God's word to call forth the very best in his people. He does this by presiding at this table so that they might be fed with Eucharistic grace and the strength to accomplish their vocation as prophets in this world. Father Fernando, thank you for doing this for us, for calling us to our best selves, laying the sweet and gentle burden of Christ's yoke of love on our shoulders that easy and light burden that gives joy and meaning to our lives. Thank you for your counsel and your compassion and your example of Christ to us. We here promise to continue to grow and to accept our call to be prophets even as you leave us. We will judge the world by loving it. We will transform our part of it into something more wonderful with the gifts the Spirit continues to give us. Thank you for helping us in our journey. The risen Christ is present in the midst of holy assembly. In humble confidence and joy, we pray.
por la Iglesia para que pueda cumplir su misión y su servicio en favor de todos los hombres y manifestar el amor de Cristo en solidaridad con los pobres y con los que reflejan el rostro doliente del Señor. Roguemos al Señor. For vocation to priesthood and the religious life, that many young men and women will respond with faith to the call of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have power to promote peace and justice, so that they work with passion and foment the dialogue, the comprehension, and the respect of all men. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who serve, teach, and minister to the people of God, that their work may build up the church into the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, we are Por las familias, para que eduquen a sus hijos en los valores del Evangelio y para que de ellas surjan nuevas vocaciones a la vida consagrada, roguemos al Señor. For the sick, the suffering, and the dying, that Christ, the healer, may restore them to health and wholeness. For Father Fernando, may God continue to bless and strengthen him in his new state of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord we are Father, we believe in you. Make us always attentive to the voice of your spirit in our hearts. Grant all the prayers we have made with faith in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, and our Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Let us pray. Recibe, Señor, este sacrificio de reconciliación y alabanza, y concenos que, purificados por su eficacia, podamos ofrecerte el entrañable afecto de nuestro corazón. Por Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Give thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. En verdad es justo y necesario en nuestro deber y salvación darte gracias siempre y en todo lugar, Señor Padre Santo, Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, por Cristo nuestro Señor. Quien por su misterio pascual realizó la obra maravillosa de llamarnos de la esclavitud del pecado y de la muerte al honor de ser estirpe elegida, sacerdocio real, nación consagrada, pueblo de tu propiedad. Para que, trasladados por ti de las tinieblas a tu luz admirable, proclamemos ante el mundo tus maravillas. Por eso, con los ángeles y los arcángeles, con los tronos y las dominaciones, y con todos los coros celestiales, cantamos sin cesar, el himno de tu gloria. through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John Harmeyer, our Archbishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all those who hold into the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you the sacrifice of praise and all who, dear, dear, all who are dear to them. 
for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept the isolation of, your, of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O oh God, to, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to you, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Pay this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. A mystery of as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you had given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be born 
by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to sing our father every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that, we, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our true pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. I really appreciate your presence here today to pray with me during this Mass, my last Mass as a pastor of St. Thomas Aquinas. Thank you, Father Paul. Thank you, Monsignor John Walsh. Thank you, Father Richard. Thank you, Father Eric. Thank you, Father Carlos Mario. And thank you, Father Juan Carlos. It seems like yesterday when, when I was ordained to the deaconhood and to the priesthood, Some of you who are here present today were there for my ordination as a deacon and also as a priest. And it's very special for me to have you here again on this day. Not because I'm finishing my life as a priest. Um, that's not what this is about. I'm, and retiring from the administration. I didn't uh, have the strength or the desire to continue being pastor. I love to celebrate the sacraments, you know that. I love to be with the people. And uh, at this moment of my life, I need uh, some more time to take care of my physical health. But you will see me from time to time, celebrating Mass here and there. Here in St. Thomas Aquinas, the new pastor promised me that um, he is going to need me for a couple of times a month. <laughs> <laughs> so for a couple of times a month, I'll be here with you. And we'll see each other again. Thank you, deacons. You have been very kind to me. Thank you, Deacon Jose, for coming today and helping here. We go a long way back. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you to the musicians. Thank you, Eric, and all of you. Eh? Thank you, Martin, and all those in the choirs. And, um, Jesus, you did excellent, thank you. Eh? <laughs> Here you see Gail, is uh, the pastor's assistant. He's not my assistant anymore. <laughs> well, until midnight today, I guess. <laughs> but she has been great, so please give her an applause, thank you. And Beatriz and all those who are in the uh, leadership in the whole Hispanic community, they have been always ready with everything for me to celebrate the sacrament. So thank you very much. Eh? And on this side,
side we have a group of uh, children and teens. They are very faithful to help with the masses and um, I'm very thankful that you are here. And some of them are behind, they couldn't, uh, I mean, there were so many that we could use at the mass, so, but still they are there behind the priest. So thank you very much and an applause for them, thank you. I thank all of the parish, everyone in the staff, and all the wonderful people of uh, St. Thomas Aquinas who had, from the beginning, gave me so much love, embraced me with so much uh, joy and kindness. So thank you. Thank you for everything. And I will keep you in my prayers. I ask you to please keep me in yours. Hasta la vista. God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank <laughs> you.